Okay, up to this point, we spent a bit of time talking about the um, using a vernier scale and uh, using it for uh, finding fractions of a measurement. Right? We looked at vernier scale for a, a linear measurement like a vernier caliper, and we've been looking at a vernier scale for angle measurements as well on a protractor. Right? So I'm going to suggest to you a method here for constructing your vernier scale. Right, for constructing a vernier scale on a protractor, and we <coughs> we have uh, <coughs> excuse me we have already done uh, making a vernier scale on a linear scale. We've done a very simple version of that. But here's here's my suggestion. When you look at this this vernier scale here, you can see that we have. And now, just to be to be clear, this is the this is the main scale up here. These are whole degrees. Here's a zero mark, and at the moment, this is, this is set with no fraction involved at all, right? This zero lines up perfectly with this zero here, and when you look to either side, you can see this line's a little to the, to the left of the main scale line, this one's a little bit to the right of it, and so on. So this is centered pretty well. Now when you go over here to this, the 60 degree mark, not surprisingly, it lines up perfectly too right there on the main scale. Now here's my suggestion. If you look carefully at how this is aligned, this zero here, this zero lines up with the zero, this 60 is over here at the 23 degree mark on the main scale. So to get from the zero to the 60 is 23 degrees on the main scale. So if you've constructed a main scale and you take that and divide, and uh, I'm sorry, you've constructed a main scale, you find the distance of 0 to 23 degrees on the main scale and divide it up into equal parts, 12 equal parts. That's a little funky, right? But it, I believe that will give you an accurate vernier scale. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Equal spaces here. They're, they're not as big as a degree. They're not a degree. Right? They're actually, in this case, are larger than a degree. They're not two degrees. I would say they're just a little bit less than two degrees on here. If you can figure out a, a measurement for these spaces here that makes them just that much smaller than two degrees and makes it so that 23 degrees is divided up into 12 equal parts. 23 degrees divided into 12 equal parts when you construct your vernier scale, I think that'll give you a good quality vernier scale. And of course, you have to be really careful to make sure each of those parts is, is actually that size then. When you lay it out on your, on your material, you've got to make sure that you know, you're, you're being consistent about getting these just in the right places, right? But I think that's a, a <clears throat> reasonable way, reasonable approach to getting a vernier scale and then and now this vernier scale will give you won't give you measurements accurate to the single minute it'll give you measurements accurate to to the uh, five minute right five to accurate to five minutes right meaning uh, one twelfth of a degree and that's pretty good I think that's if we can if we can be successful making this kind of a scale and, and taking these kind of measurements I think that's a very reasonable expectation for our um, instruments that we're making. Okay, good luck.